Hey there, my name is Jason. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist. Get a lot of questions. One of them is on nitric oxide and the benefits, the benefits of breathing, of breathing nitric, nitric, oxide, oxide, nitric oxide, nitric oxide in the nose, and the benefits of nasal breathing. If you mouth breathe, breathe uh, you don't get it. So let's tape, tape our mouths and nasal, nasal breathe, breathe, nasal breathe, get nitric oxide, oxide all the benefits of that. that. I hear a lot of that when doing PAP analysis on my website. Always work it in, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. <clears throat> I see a lot of comments about that on YouTube and from what I deduce, because they tell me, is that most of this comes from a book called Breathe or Breath by James Nestor. I've never read the book. I've heard the book is phenomenal. A lot of people tell me I should read it. I haven't yet. But apparently it, it uh, outlines the virtues of nasal breathing. And so people start taping their mouths closed and breathing through their nose. And the reason they're doing this is increased nitric oxide. So it turns out there is a gas produced in our noses that not only sterilizes the air that we breathe, it also helps absorb more oxygen into our lungs by opening up the blood vessels. Now this gas is nasal nitric oxide, and it was the 1992 molecule of the year. Wow. And in some cases, if you have too much of it, it's toxic. So just like everything else in the body, you have to have just the right amount in the right place at the right time. Yeah. But when you mess with that physiology, then your body uh, doesn't do too well. Mm -hmm. but, but people don't take advantage of it because most people tend to breathe more through the mouth these days. For Lower blood pressure, improved performance in the bedroom. Yes, it does affect that the way you breathe. Increase heart rate. Yeah. In this video, I'm going to show you nitric oxide breathing. I feel good. I feel much more relaxed. Little dizzy, little uh, feeling faint, but you could feel tingly in your arms and your and it just wow. feels good if you And this exercise is humming to increase nitric oxide, which is a crucial substance in the body. I just did my own research on it, or I tried to. By that I mean I read a couple articles. And what I can deduce from nitric oxide accumulating in the sinuses, the nasal cavity, as well as the nasal sinuses, is that it's a primary, a first line defense for uh, viruses and bacteria. It'll kill them, kills them dead. And another thing it apparently does is increases mucus secretion. And who doesn't want more mucus secretion? I know for Christmas, when my kids asked me, dad, what do you want for Christmas? I said, if you could just get me some mucus, I'd be good. Wow. But you do want mucus. You want mucus because it catches stuff, particulates. That's how we get massive boogers. You want that mucus secretion. Grabs all kinds of stuff before it gets into your upper airway and lower airway. So pathogen defense, mucus, basically all the same thing. Now all that stuff is great. Now here's where I have a problem with it. And this is gonna be, um, I, I openly admit, nitric oxide production is not my specialty. Um, but what I do know is a lot of these people are taping their mouths and they feel like that's gonna fix all of their sleep problems. If they fix their breathing problems by breathing through their nose, which, yeah, by all accounts, we should breathe through our nose as much as possible. Humidifies the air, more mucus, all that stuff. Really nice. Yeah. The problem is it seems like people conflate nasal breathing with the end all be all as far as everything is concerned breathing wise. Now in my own little personal realm, my little bubble of sleep apnea, sleep disorders, 99% of the time I'm dealing with airway collapse. Now, if you have your mouth taped up at night and you still have airway collapse, that's not a good thing. Let me show you a little demonstration here. Let's let this represent our airway. Now, it's open, we're breathing. If you tape the mouth, it doesn't do much. But if the air is coming out and we pinch here, that causes a breathing problem and they're gonna wake up and really nitric oxide is the least of your worries at that point. Now, if we inflate the pressure, it's gonna take the pressure off of my finger, and now you can hear the breathing or the airflow is less turbulent. If I squeeze it, let's get a better angle. If I squeeze it, it's collapse of the airway, suffocation, in increase the pressure, nice, easy flow. That's what we're trying to accomplish with CPAP. Please forgive the hella weird demonstration with the really weird head. I swore I'd never do it again. But here we are. Yeah. You can be breathing through your nose all night long. The problem is, what happens if the airway 
collapses. What happens to our precious nitric oxide? Uh, I don't know, who cares? You're not breathing. So what CPAP does, and this is, this is my world, what CPAP does is it keeps the airway open. A lot of people think, and you'll hear this all the time, oh, CPAP, it pushes oxygen into your lungs, pushes it, the oxygen in, helps you breathe. That's not what it does at all. It, it treats your airway like a car tire. It inflates that car tire to the proper pressure so that you continue breathing on your own. It doesn't force oxygen in. It keeps your airway open so that you can continue breathing, get oxygen in, get CO2 out. That's all it does. So why do I bring this up? Why do I care? Because it seems like it is being conflated with if you tape your mouth and breathe through your nose, everything is fixed. If you have sleep apnea, taping your mouth and breathing through your nose is not gonna fix anything. The collapse is happening back in your upper airway. Common, common places are uvula, fatty tissue of the soft palate, base of the tongue, jaw, which is also often base of the tongue, and just a very, very small airway. You can have collapse in any of those spots. Taping your mouth is gonna do really nothing to resolve any of that. If you have no sleep apnea though, and you tape your mouth trying to get some precious, precious nitric oxide, awesome, go for it. I don't know anything else about it, so I have no idea. But if you have sleep apnea, taping your mouth on its own is gonna do absolutely nothing. Now, if you tape your mouth with CPAP, that's different. That helps prevent mouth leaking, and mouth leaking is the absolute devil when it comes to CPAP use. That's all I've got to say on the subject. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, CPAPsupplies.com. Skos ma Jossen? Jossen ka aksio a quastron? Yes, now's a perfect time for this quastron. Thanks, Jossen. You look really ready, and by the way. My question is, does CPAPsupplies.com sell nitric oxide? No, they, they, don't, they don't sell nitric oxide. Do they sell oxygen? No, they don't, they don't sell oxygen. They do sell masks and accessories and CPAP machines if you want to hold your airway open. That's what they do. They don't sell any gases that I'm aware of. Jason, don't you think they could make a lot more money if they did sell all those things like gases and stuff? People need oxygen. They could corner the market, have a monopoly on oxygen. That's stupid. Could you share any discount codes with me that sipupsupplies.com might have? Yes, you can always use discount code LEFTY20. You can save at least 20% off your order. As of this morning, I saw they have mask 25. You can save 25% off any CPAP mask you wanna get. Uh, beyond that, uh, check out their website. They have all kinds of great programs, 30-day mask guarantee, loyalty rewards program, and some other stuff I'm totally forgetting off the top of my head. Check out CPAPsupplies.com. Thanks again for sponsoring this video. Do you guys have any sweet, sweet comments for me? Yeah. Please leave them in the comment section down below. Check out the links in the description box as well as my pinned comment. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great night. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick <coughs> thanks butter to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espolong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swaringen, Chung Tu Chen, Edward Steiner, and Shannon Kerr, and another slightly less thick thanks buddy to all the other YouTube members, Patreon supporters, and other stuff.